Hi everyone, Mike here from Point Fuse. Uh, in today's video, I just want to quickly show you how you can work with uh, the, the super tiles that are produced in Point Fuse uh, inside something like Unity. So using the uh, batch export functionality to maintain the super tiling, um, but without losing the alignment of all of the models. Uh, so you're gonna wanna use this when you've either broken the data down, so you're working with multiple meshes, or if you're working on really big data, because we, you're much better off working with tiled small files than you are trying to export uh, a great big mesh, you know, that's potentially two, three, four gigabytes in size. Uh, so this workflow is gonna be really handy for working with mesh at scale. Uh, so first of all, the first thing I've done is I have set up a, uh, a project here. I've already done the meshing. It's just a, a street scene outside of our offices. Uh, what I've done already is I have uh, cleaned up a lot of the noise, a lot of the roadway noise. I've just got a little bit uh, left to do here. So I'm gonna clean that up by holding control, using the window select to, uh, uh, to grab those surfaces and just move those into a switched off layer so they're not included in, the, um, in my visual uh, walkthrough. Uh, and then the other thing I've done is I've used this uh, surface flipping tool just to make sure that all of the normals are facing uh, in roughly the right direction when I uh, export this out into Unity. Uh, so you don't have to do this. What you can do in Unity is uh, use a custom shader to double face material, double face textures, sorry, uh, or to switch off back culling. Um, but the tool is here, it's nice and easy to use. All you do again is use the selection tools. You wanna keep this ticked so that it's only selecting back faces and then choose to flip. So all of the blue faces are the backs, which is obviously the back of this building here, the backs of inside to these windows. Uh, and what you should be looking at is lots of gray surfaces. Cool. And so here we go. This mesh is uh, nicely textured, scanned with an RTC, uh, ready to be exported. Uh, so the two ways of batch exporting are to have the models open that you want to export and to use uh, the, uh, the export arrow. Or you can if you don't want to have the models open. So again, if you are working at huge scale and you can't open them all uh, at once, you could right click on the model group and choose the batch export uh, this way as well. Uh, so I'm gonna, use the, I'm gonna use this way as it's all open. Uh, I'm gonna choose uh, FBX file, I'm gonna choose texture RGB. I'm gonna leave the textures uh, not embedded. That seems to work uh, a little bit more smoothly. And I'm going to make sure just in my hierarchy here that that unclassified layer is off uh, so that it's not exporting any of the stuff that I've uh, cleaned up already. I'm going to hit go and that's going to run that export process and produce me something that looks a little bit like this. So I've got the six mesh tiles as FBX and I've got the six texture files associ associated to each one of those uh, mesh tiles. Excellent. So next thing I'm going to do is launch Unity. So I've just got a blank project here. I haven't done anything fancy. I don't, um, I don't know how to do too much fancy. Uh, but what I'm going to do first is just bring in one tile and one uh, texture file into the Unity interface. Cool. So what that gives us is our, uh, our model, our texture, which I might just tidy up into that materials folder. And then I'm just going to click and drag and bring that road tile into uh, the scene. There it is over there. Cool. That's easy. That seems easy enough. And uh, that looks that looks fine. We could, you know, at this point do some different shading, things like that, if you know what you're doing. Uh, so if I then bring a second uh, mesh tile into the scene, because we're working with individual files, the problem is that these are going to have to uh, realign somehow. So if I, again, just drag that into place, it's kind of moved it all the way over there. Uh, so, which isn't really uh, much good at all. Uh, so what you can do instead is once you've got them dragged into the scene, you want to change the position to uh, zero. So all of these models are going to make, retain the coordinates that the, uh, the, of the original point cloud um, and also retain the origin. So when you move it to uh, zero, zero, we find them, they're gonna join up. So those are perfectly aligned now to millimeter accuracy. So as a final step, what I'll do is I'll bring in the other four uh, mesh tiles and show you that you can actually do that rather than one by one, you can uh, batch that whole uh, activity. So if you are working potentially with hundreds of tiles, which I know uh, some of you are, uh, then 
that doesn't need to, you don't need to type it out 100 times you can do it all at once so if i grab those last four tiles bring those into the space there they all are over there in fact all, all joined together and then if i you can select them all in the scene and change the positionings as a whole to uh, zero zero so at that point there they are perfectly aligned ready for your uh, ready for your walkthrough cool so nice and short that's it but hopefully that helps some of you out with your uh, unity workflows thanks for watching and i'll speak to you next time